Well, hello, uh, Pizzle and Breezy here. Um, I thought for the first time ever I'd give my own uh, opinion on the uh, FIFA 20 Clubs uh, beta. Um, I've been lucky again to get the beta. I've had it for three, four, five years in a row now. Um, I don't know why. I don't plug in any extra money uh, compared to some of these people doing that crap old my team um, format. Um, anyway, yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. So I did a little thing on Twitter, asked if anyone was interested. 103 votes. Um, and the majority said yeah, so here we go. Um, first of all, um, a lot of people seem to be rubbishing the, um, the demo already. Um, they're wrong. Um, it's really, really good. And hopefully I'll go through a few things really, really quickly. Um, my opinions anyway of what I think of the game. Um, yeah, first of all, um, the pre presentation of the game. Again, a lot of people are saying, oh, it looks like all the menus. I'm really, really mad. Menus look like they do on the last one. Well, they do, but they work. They're a simple sort of tile format. Run through, see what game format you need or want to play, and go from there. Um, yeah, okay, it's a bit updated in colours, but it works quick. It's slick. Um, doesn't even feel like you're connected online. It works out quick. Maybe again, it's because not many people are on the uh, the beta uh, servers. But for me, it was really, really good. Um, what else is it on the uh, on the presentation? Oh. Uh, before we talk gameplay, the uh, create a player mode, uh, creating a view virtual pro. Um, everyone's seen pictures. Oh, just seen it there. Everyone's seen pictures of the old rainbow beard. I'm not going to find me a rainbow beard. Um, it is what it is. All the colourful hairs are back. Um, colour beards. For people who spend a lot of time on that sort of thing, which a lot of you do out there. Um, you can make your players look really, really good. Um, there's a couple YouTubers out there who release weekly videos on how to look like a certain pro, etc. They're going to have a, a lot of fun with that and get really, really accurate looking players. Um, yeah, uh, girly haircuts if you're interested in that sort of stuff. But yeah, loads of face morphing, eyes, jaws, eyebrows, skin tones, you name it, it's on there. Um, it's all really, really good. Personally, I only spend a little bit of time on there. But there we go. Right, straight away into the gameplay. Um, I've seen a ton of things. Again, it's all on Twitter. So many people are saying that the game feels slower. Um, I'm telling you now, the game is no slower. A lot of people said, again, it's because you're, you're virtual pro. You start off at only 80 rated. All your tributes come to 80. And so you're not knocking the ball around the pitch that fast. It's not that. I think these people are trying to pick up and play a different game or play a different style. <laughs> you might start off kicking it around slower, trying to slow the, the game down, but it ain't. You'll soon be pinging it around. Um, I went into a game, I did a drop in where there's only three of us, two strikers running around. I took a like a central midfield role and I was just asking for all the time, pinging it around. It's fast, it's slick, it's nowhere near as slow as what people think. Um, what else have I got? Got some stuff written down there. Um, oh yeah, the other thing as well. People have been saying because of how slow it is, there's no more of these uh, through balls down the wings and things like that. There is. Unfortunately, I think there's still going to be a lot of these uh, full backs whipping fast long balls down the lines for the, for the wingers to get hold of. I think that's still going to happen. Um, also, the diagonal fill, diagonal pitch, long balls. That still happens. So if you're a fullback in competitive pro club games, you're in trouble because they're going to ping the ball over you and um, the winger or striker is going to get onto it uh, probably a bit faster than you. Uh, what else have I got? Yeah, that's the gameplay, that's the speed. Uh, oh, yeah, passing. Um, the passing isn't slow, it's the same. But it does feel heavier. The, the passing is better. Um, whether you quickly tap X, or whatever the equivalent is in Xbox, I don't know. Uh, so quick pass, uh, hold the button for a long pass, or even with the R1 for like a you know a powerful long ball pass, uh, ground pass. It feels really really good. Heavy. Your player seems to receive it better as well. You can turn on it. You can do things better with it. Personally, I think it is a lot better. Um, by the way, if the TV keeps going, the contrast keeps going backwards and forwards. It's for a reason, so I don't get told off for using um, 20 footage. But hopefully, you can't see too much of that. Um, the long ball passing, uh, square button, is 
dramatically improved. If you get the ball on a wing, um, uh, yeah, sorry, as I was saying, the uh, the square ball passing or long ball passing is really really good. When you when you sort of hold a half power, you cross a ball into a box for a header or a volley, etc. Um, the ball sort of stays at chest height between sort of waist and head height. It doesn't fly up high or too quick or too far. Loads and loads of control over those sort of long ball crossing. I guess the same goes for like long ball passing as well. You'll be able to control it a lot better. I'm trying to get the TV back in contrast there. Overall, I think the passing is really, really good. Um, the three ball feels, actually, in fact, the three ball feels better. I think on 19, um, it lacked a little bit of control on the ground ball three passing. I think that's better. Um, I think you're going to get a lot more a lot more goals that way. Uh, maybe not over the top as usual. I think it's just going to be defended as usual. A lot of strikers are going to get cheesed off if the, the three balls are being played over the top as usual. Uh, yeah, that's it. So that's passing. Um, heading the ball. Right, heading the ball is really, really good this year. Um, there's a few more animations to it, so it looks a bit better when you're uh, heading on goal, um, when you're defending it. It is actually slightly overpowered if you're a striker. So if you're a striker and you're receiving a good ball and you head towards goal, it's really, really powerful. Again, though, I think if you're doing competitive games, I think the defenders are still going to have the edge. They've got a lot more strength. They're going to be able to defend it a bit better. Um, but that's how it should be. It should be like a lot more realistic. You know, you're not going to have a five foot eight striker out jumping a six foot six centre back. So yeah, that's dramatically improved. Uh, the head <clears throat> heading was good. Oh yeah, the other thing about the heading is when you're holding the butt, when you're holding the butt, um, say you're clearing the header with square. When you're holding it, and at time of release, you've got a lot more control over it. If that makes sense. Um, it's not like a little less more panicky. You've got a bit more control, a bit more feel over it, so you should be able to put it in other places where you think uh, a lot more safer. That's what I think anyway. Um, oh, I'm going back to the overpowered thing, by the way, for a striker. Personally, again, it felt overpowered on a demo because, <laughs> especially in drop-ins, you're against rubbish CPUs. Um, so I think you know, you're know you winning a lot of the balls. Again, in competitive games, I don't think you're going to get that. I think it's going to be a 50-50 or the, the defender's going to win the ball that way. Um, keeping on to that and the defenders and the strength side of things, one of the best things, again, with along the passing and the speed of the game, I think there's going to be a lot less penalties given away for defenders. Um, over the three or four, five VFL clubs I was in last season, the amount of penalties uh, given away by centre backs or full backs trying to defend the ball, they're not slide tackling, they're not even doing a normal uh, circle tackle or whatever, they're just putting a little bit of pressure on. The amount of penalties given away is incredible. This year, that that's not going to happen on a FIFA 20, that's simply not going to happen. Um, first of all, the circle tackle, so you, you stand, you know, stand and stand and tack, stand and tackle, whatever it's called, um, it's a lot shorter. The base is a lot shorter in the circle around you. It doesn't You don't stick your foot out miles. Saying that, though, the square tackle, you seem to slide halfway down the screen. I don't know if that's intentional. but um, I've probably over-exaggerated that. But there's going to be a lot less uh, penalties given away. Um, that's a strength. What else have I got? Tackling. Oh, goalkeepers. Goalkeepers look sharp. I think they've improved the, um, the animations again. Um, the reactions and all that sort of thing. It seems to be new animations, seem to be getting to a lot more balls. Um, <laughs> like every striker tries um, on clubs, whether it's we did a, a few games, organised games with people I've been playing with, we also did some drop ins. A lot more strikers trying these, still trying the old finesse shots from outside the box. Goalkeepers were easily getting to those. Um, whether it was a, a CPU or an 82, 83 rated uh, human goalkeeper, they were getting to them really, really easy. So I think, um, again, in competitive games, I think um, finesse shots are probably off the cards, to be honest. Um, what else have I got here? That's that, that's that. Yeah, that's it. That's finished, really. So, yeah, one, the main things, it's not slower. Once you get hold of it, and especially when we did some proper organised games, um, we, are, we are passing like normal on there, but it does feel better, it does you know, a lot more better passing. Um, yeah, I think that's about it really. Nothing's really changed, it's for the better, 
Um, personally, apart from a few of the glitches on drop-ins and stuff, which I won't go into because I don't want to come out with any negative stuff, really. I just want to come out with all the positives because I think it's a it's a better game than 19. Um, uh, yeah, what's the other thing? Oh, cut modes as well. There seems to be... Hopefully you can't boost because there's one cut mode. Um, it's no rules. We I didn't even know I was, in, I was playing a no rules cut game. So there's all these slide tackles going on. Everyone taking each other out. There's no cards, no fouls given. No penalties given in the box. Also, these rules meant that there was no offsides. So the striker's miles offside, but it didn't count. So everyone was pinging long balls, and these strikers are picking up 10, 15 goals a game. Um, I expect their tributes, their stats were like pinging up really, really quick. I hope EA take that out because um, otherwise, everyone's just going to go into these cup games and just like boost all their VPs, etc. Uh, but there we go. Um, anyway, I hope that's helped. I've uh, never done a video like this before, so uh, peace out, Pro Clubs forever.